what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Pepsi vending machine. And you may be wondering to yourselves, why would I ever need a Pepsi vending machine? Well, let's say that you're in the dry, dry desert. You've been walking the plains, the sands, the hot sun is shining down on you and you realize that you're hit by the old thirsty first and there's nothing in sight, no oasis, no nothing. But then, out in the distance, you see yourself a giant Pepsi vending machine, and you are saved. That is why you will want to build this. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your Pepsi vending machine. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. So now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. The first thing that we have to do in building our vending machine is we have to place one, two, three black concretes extending up from the ground. I'd recommend destroying the first two, leaving only the third suspended in the air. Oh, magic. What we then want to do is take this block and extend it to the right by 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I then want you to mark out this block. So I want you to place a black concrete just on top of it. We'll be coming back to that later. But then I want you to continue extending right by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, this 10th block wants to go two directions, up and backwards. It wants to go up by 47. Oh, boy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Perfect. So, this 47th block is quite useful because, number one, we have to take this black concrete that we placed earlier. It has to be extended all the way up by, you might have guessed it, not 47. It'd be 46 because we already had placed one, but you were close. We then want to extend it and we want to join it together. That is going to be kind of like the control panel area uh, of the vending machine but we also want to take this block and we want to extend it all the way over to the left by an amount that i can't remember and we have to join it all the way back to the very first technically third black concrete block that we placed earlier so we just want to connect them together in a right angle that was that was perfect that that was unintentional that that connected perfectly okay so we want to end up with something that should look like this, which is pretty good, pretty good. We have to extend backwards though as well. So I'm gonna come all the way back to the block that I told you wanted to be extended up and also back. And we want to extend back by 29. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Perfect. Okay, so here's the thing. This 29th block wants to get extended across the back of the build by an amount that I don't know. All we have to do is extend it, I, I've overshot it, but we want to extend it all the way to the right and join it forwards like this. You don't really have to count anything out whatsoever. In addition to this, we want to take the back corners of the build, so that 29th block, for instance, and also this corner that is not the 29th block, we want to extend them upwards and we want to join them towards the front of the build. So, we want to have something which should look like that but imagine all over so we're going to extend the top across as well we want to turn this into a big giant whatever you call a rectangle is it still a cube i don't even know what the definition of cube is but we want to join it all up together just like this perfect wasn't too far off and we also want to join it to the front as well 
So there's actually very little detail when it comes to the sides of the build, the left, the right and the back. The back obviously nothing going on, the left side we're going to leave uh, blue concrete but this right side later on is going to be a big giant logo so you have that to look forward to. When it comes to the base of the vending machine you'll notice that as of present it's actually kind of just floating off the ground. Again a great magic trick but what we actually want to do is we want to create little feet using black concrete and the feet of the vending machine are going to be two by two squares that are simply just set one row inwards kind of like diagonally like this and we we want to place them in each one of the four corners. If you want to contrast a little bit against the black concrete which we're kind of using for the outline, I'd recommend dark grey. If like me you don't feel as though that it matters particularly whether they're black or grey, then I, I'm just using black. Um, just because it kind of like flows down in kind of like a nice line from the corner, if you use black I, I think it looks a little bit better, but that's me. What do we want to do next? Well, there's a, there's a few things that we're going to do. We're going to focus on putting all of the detail into the front of the vending machine and we'll kind of swing our way around as, uh, as we move along. Grab yourself the light grey concrete. Come to the right side of the vending machine, which I dubbed kind of the control panel area earlier. I want you to place a row of three light grey concrete extending right from this corner. One, two, three. And then I want you to go up by 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I then want you to go right by four. One, two, three, four. I want you to place grey concrete behind the entire row, place grey concrete on top, I want you to place five rows of glass on top of this, so you can use block or paint, so one, oh boy, two, three, hang on, four, it's tricky, and five, okay perfect, two rows of light grey on top, or well, actually, just place one row of light grey, that's my bad. You only need to place one row. And then you want to extend the light grey forwards like this so that it pops out of the front. And then you want to place another row on top. So you still get your two rows, but just not in the way that I, I was going to describe. We then want to place five rows of white concrete on top of this. So that's one, two, three, four... And a five, just like this, a nice little square. And we will end up with something that should look like this. And whilst that might look not that impressive, we've actually done quite a, a, a huge thing. As a matter of fact, the only two bits of detail that one would need to do from here is grab buttons, uh, stone buttons specifically, fill the entire white concrete area in using stone buttons. Or maybe we could we could be a little bit more artistic with this, perhaps. Maybe we could just fill the middle in. Maybe we could just like leave the right and left sides um, just kind of like a, a little bit blank, maybe, instead of just completely filling the whole thing in. There's not even that many numbers and letter combinations that we would probably need. So maybe something like that. Just fill the kind of like the middle three strip top to bottom in. And then the entire rest of this side of the vending machine will actually be simply light grey concrete. That's all you have to do. This is one of those newfangled vending machines which I don't quite like where the can of whatever you're you're buying is safely delivered via robot arm or something similar um, kind of like to arm grabbing level so instead of like having to pick it out of the bottom of the machine where it's all kind of like fizzed up and it's ready to explode um, I it this is one where it's kind of like delivered safely just kind of like you can just reach out and grab it rather than getting it from the base of the machine and that's of course the pad in which you would both insert money and also um, select which one in particular which one in particular you would like but that's that entire right side done it will just get filled in using light grey concrete the only thing that you may want to do is you may want to kind of surrounding the area in which said Pepsi would be released you might want to place a little bit of like grey concrete around the glass window area and you may want to kind of create a little bit of a, a cave uh, <laughs> is the best way to describe it. Maybe like 
add a little bit of depth. So just a few rows of grey concrete, something like this, right? Just extending backwards. And just fill in the back of it. Like, you don't even have to go that deep into it. Um, maybe just, like, a couple of rows like this. Um, you could even make, say, the back of it white to contrast against the grey. But you'll see the sort of effect that it'll give you in a second. Unless you plan on living inside the vending machine. By the way, it'd be a huge house. Um, you know, something like that would actually do quite nicely. So you could make, like, a little bit of a cave area, um, so to speak, where, uh, you, you know, it's just got a little bit of depth to it. It might look a little bit better. Anyway, focusing more so on the left side now that that is done, except for the light grey concrete, we want to grab ourselves the blue concrete. Now, we're going to begin by placing a row of blue concrete that sits inside in two ways of the black concrete rectangle that we have made. Number one, in terms of depth. Depth. -er. <laughs> in terms of depth, couldn't quite get it out the first time. We want to place blue concrete all the way around the inside of the black concrete area. Literally, one row behind it, inside, and also we have to make it inside. So it's one row shorter and it's one row inwards. So we will end up with an effect that will look a little something like this. So you can see it's kind of like a cool depth effect between the left and right sides. And what we also want to do is all the way up at the tippity top of the build, we want to add a row of blue concrete just underneath horizontally left to right. We want to curve the edges by placing a single blue concrete in each one of the two corners just like that. And that is primarily the top of the vending machine sort of sort of sorted. All the way down at the bottom is a different story. We're going to begin by adding a horizontal row of blue concrete. All the way down at the bottom. We have to add some branding. We're actually going to be writing Pepsi. Uh, in the bottom left hand corner here where we have our empty space, I want you to place a row of five white concrete on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five. Extend the top to the right by two. One, two, Go down two, one two, go left, boom, P. I want you to place a row of vertical blue concrete in between the P, literally spanning from the bottom to the top of the P. I want you to place a vertical row of white concrete to the right of it, extend the top to the right by two, extend the middle to the right by two, extend the bottom to the right by two. Place a vertical row of blue concrete to the right of it, once again spanning the height of the letter. And then we have to make another P, so vertical row of white, extend the top right to, down to, and back to the left. To the right of this, place a vertical row of blue concrete, and this is where we have to make the S. So if you take the bottom and place one, two, three, white concrete is going right, you go up to, left to, up to, right to, and after playing that game of snake, we now have our S. We then want to have another vertical row of blue concrete as high as the letter, and right of this, we simply want to place, starting from the bottom, one, two, three, white concrete, blue concrete, and then a white concrete just on top. Pepsi. Then, we're going to, once again, we're going to place a row of blue concrete right of the eye, we're going to place a blue concrete at the bottom, and at the top, white concrete in between kind of suspended floating in air we then want to place a white concrete above and below kind of like diagonally like this uh, what we then want to do is we'll have to actually dig in at the bottom we want to dig one two three rows going right but diagonally down one two three we then want to start coming back up again so we'll place one white concrete upright diagonally and then another extend up two we then want to place two up left diagonal white concrete, left two, essentially what we're making is a circle. The circle is one row higher and one row lower than the previous letters. We want to take the bottom left hand corner of the circle, which sounds ridiculous because it's a circle, but hey, in this diagonal block here, we want to place a white concrete on top, go right two, you want to go up one, right up. Easy. Fill the bottom of this in using light blue concrete, and above using red concrete. Tiny, tiny little pixel art of the Pepsi logo, as easy as that. 
What do we want to do from here? We want to literally put a, put a line all the way on top of this of blue concrete, literally left to right on top of this, um, just above the logo like that. We want to stick ourselves a blue concrete on the left and right sides in the corners. And what we will have, you might be able to see that we've actually done a really large amount of this. We have our vending machine, at least the structure of which, a, a good amount of it done. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fill in the vending machine. We're going to grab ourselves the white concrete. The white concrete is going to be placed pretty much behind the row of blue concrete. So behind the horizontal row of blue concrete, you want to place a row of white concrete. You don't just want to place one row of white concrete, you want to place in total six. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Easy. So this is going to be the platform for our uh, for all of our Pepsi, pretty much. So all of this, again, just completely filled in using white concrete. But here's the deal. This white concrete actually wants to be extended upwards as well. So you've went back one, two, three, four, five, six rows. You want to go up. You want to go all the way up. You want to extend that entire row upwards until it will sit behind the top of the vending machine here. And does it sit behind this? Or oh, yes, it does, this row in particular. So you can place your six rows of white concrete extending outwards from the top, the opposite position of... Here we go. The opposite position of where we were at the bottom, pretty much. You want to place your six rows. But we also want to build these sides as well. So we want to build these sides of this up. Now that we have pretty much, we've done the top, we've done the bottom. So the left and right sides we're going to fill in completely using white concrete. It doesn't really matter in what method you actually fill this in. I think in on this side here, just because it's kind of like cramped space, I'm going I'm opting for the going from bottom to top as I've explained a few times in videos if you've seen one of these um, It's actually easier on bedrock or at least Xbox bedrock console um, To build up than down down is slow up is much faster It's actually easier to drop at the speed of gravity of which is uh, suggestible in Minecraft and just like build going up um, Just like this. It's really annoying to, to build kind of like downwards I don't know whether it's just my personal dislike of it or whether it is annoying for everybody, but trust me, I don't like it. So um, that entire right side completely filled in with white. This left side here also has to be filled in with white. Why don't we try the opposite thing here? So it shouldn't... I, I've never conducted an experiment on this. I don't know which is faster, literally, like left to right or up and down. It, whatever you want to do, let's uh, let's try this. This already feels slower. This feels uh, a little bit sluggish, actually. But uh, we'll continue on. It's uh, it's not that high. I don't know how many rows it is, but I'm sure that it will get done. And we can just fill all of this in. And then, oh, oh, oh. there's a much bigger area to fill in. The back. The back is huge. We have a lot of filling in with this vending machine. This vending machine is, is simple, hopefully, to build, but it, is, it takes a lot of blocks. I'm sure that you will have noticed that from the start of this video, actually, when I showed you the item list. Um, so we've got both of the sides filled in there. Pretty happy with that. All we have to do is just join it together now. So should hopefully be quite simple. I don't know how many blocks because I've I've not counted them all up yet, but I can I can imagine that it's thousands. <laughs> so just just filling in all of the blue concrete is going to be crazy, and it takes a really really long time. And you're going to get a nice little taste of that right now, actually. But um, believe it or not, once we have got to the point in which we have filled the entire inside the vending machine in with all of these cans that we're going to be adding. There's mm, so many cans, so many cans of Pepsi. The entire vending machine is simply just a, a vending machine 
for Pepsi. So there's absolutely no variation in this. It's literally just making the same can. I want to say 16 times. It might even be more. It might be 20. I actually don't know. I uh, I can't see my plans right now. So uh, it's, it's actually it's, it's quite simple, but it's very repetitive as it's filling in the entire side. But definitely worth it just to have the novelty of something like this. I really like really strange builds and this would certainly certainly come under that strange build category so if you have already made my living inside of a giant pepsi can um house tutorial then um maybe this one's for you as well maybe you can pair them together somehow but uh, how are we close to finishing this i've just realized how long we've been filling in this area it's uh we, are we near the top hang on kind of kind of two thirds done so, you could also use a different material if you wanted to instead of the white concrete, if you wanted to perhaps use quartz or if you had something that's a bit more readily available to you that's also white. Um, the white's the best because it um, it just contrasts really nice against the, against the blue. You could even add lights inside this as well. I'd use sea lanterns if I were to add lights, but uh, I actually thought it was quite nice and bright anyway, so I didn't add any, but... Um, absolutely would um, you absolutely could and it might even benefit from it so that is what it looks like from the outside that actually looks really cool without all of the shelves I actually really really like that so what we now have to do ladies and gentlemen is we have to separate this into shelves if we start from the bottom here okay uh, we want to start from the bottom and we kind of want to count up we want to find the seventh block right so like from the bottom on this back wall one two three four five six seven mark it out and then starting from here we want to have a gap of one two three four five six a again so kind of like starting from just up above like one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven i don't think that we've got another um one two three four five six seven no it's actually arranged rather perfectly so we want to have something which should look like that we want to extend those white concretes all the way across so all of these want to be extended across and then we want to extend the white concretes forwards we want to extend them forwards by i want to get this right because it's one two three just three these upper shelves i do believe yeah we just want to extend them forwards by three and we want to extend the entire shelf um the middle shelves it, it, if we'll call it like that basically every single shelf above the bottom one is going to be one two three there we go is going to be shorter than the shelf that we have at the bottom and we also have to once we have built in these shelves we're going to have to build in kind of like um i guess you would call them the can separators so uh, one, two, three. Um, basically, just the space in between the cans. We're just going to be adding these two. Um, how would I describe it? Just these two rows of quartz block, which are just going to kind of like separate them, keep them separate. And they actually overhang the shelf by one row, um, except for the bomb shelf. So I think that this might be the last one. Am I right? Am I wrong? We'll find out in just a moment. I might try lights in the top of it and in the sides, maybe. Um, I think th we've actually got room to do it. We, like, um, oh, perfect. Um, like, in terms of, uh, like, not messing up the structure. So, that looks pretty cool. I really like that. Uh, we're going to grab our block of quartz, okay? Uh, if we come all the way down to the bottom and we start from literally, like, the bottom left-hand corner and we place a row of block of quartz just like this and we leave a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. So on the sixth block, we want to place a row of block of quartz that extends from the back all the way to the front, but not where the blue concrete is. You see, that's important because there's going to be glass here, if you can imagine it. But we basically, on every sixth block, mark out a block of quartz. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll see that the end is six. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit more efficiently. Um, I'm going to move all the way up through the machine. I'm going to take the ends. I'm going to place block of quartz extending off of each end like this as I rise up the shelves. And then 
um, I'm going to count out all the spaces in between and then we can place all of the cans um, which we will do left to right we'll do it together I won't just I, I won't just make you make all the cans by yourself they are very tedious but um, will hang in there together so now we have placed all of the sides of these rows um, these ones want to get extended forward that we have at the bottom once again they come just to the edge and it's every sixth block so one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six and then we've already got that final row I'm going to extend every single one of these forwards once again the Upper shelves overhang because they're actually a little bit smaller than the other rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do the entire. Oh, hang on! I just caught a glimpse. That—that's the way to do it. There. Now I can actually kind of like in my like low peripheral, if that's even a thing, I can kind of see where to place these. So I can use the previous rows now. Oh, is it there? Yeah, perfect. There, and then just one more. I do believe. I want to say that that's right perfect and that's overshot it but oh no there's another row my bad it just keeps going on i did contemplate by the way making this bigger uh i think that it's big enough but i uh, i did think about whilst i was building this i was i was like is this five rows five rows enough yes yes it is so we want to have something <laughs> that should look a little bit like that so what do we do next? We make the cans. Um, I think that we have every... No, we don't have everything that we need to make the cans. So, let's chuck all this away and let's get out of the primary materials. We need light blue concrete. We need blue concrete. We need white concrete. We need gray con uh, red concrete. We need light gray. And then smooth stone slabs. That's what we want to do. So, we want to... Inside of each one of these little areas here we want to place a Pepsi can. These Pepsi cans are rather easy to build. Literally, you take the left and right sides and you place a row of three light blue concrete extending towards you. One, two, three. One, two, three. You join the cans together diagonally in front with another row of three. The sides of the cans are four rows high, so that would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can extend the sides of the cans forwards. You can then take the middle of the can, you take the left and right sides and you place light blue concrete, place blue concrete in between, white on top, blue to the right, red on the left and above, and light blue concrete left and right. Place a row of light grey concrete to cover the entire top exposed area and then place smooth stone slabs around the top of the light grey not joining together and that's just a very simple looking can of Pepsi and that's all we have to do however many times that is I do believe it's 20 so we've done one I'm gonna go through the entire bottom row here so one two three one two three place a row of one two three joining together in front the light blue concrete wants to be four rows high in total so that means that you add three rows on top you then place light blue on the left and right blue in between white on top red left up blue to the right light blue concrete left and right of that and then light gray concrete exposed or pretty much covering up the exposed top of the can with stone slabs extending all the way around but not joining in the corners it's as easy as that so it's very very repetitive as a matter of fact i might not do all of these on recording um but i'll certainly do this bottom row with you so light blue concretes two rows of three on the left and right sides we will join it together with the same row um, that we have on the left and right just in front. We make these sides four rows high. Light blue concrete left and right. Blue concrete on the bottom, upright diagonally as well. White concrete in between, red to the left and above. Light blue concrete left and right of that. And then we fill the top of this in using light blue concrete. We then place smooth stone slabs around the top of this, not joining in the corners. And just in case you weren't quite sick of me saying that, I'm going to do it one more time. So, two rows of free light blue concrete on the left and right hand sides 
of the area here. A row of three light blue concrete join in together inside the middle of the space. We make the light blue concrete four rows high in total, so we add three rows to them just like this. We place a light blue concrete left and right in front, blue concrete in the middle, upright diagonally, white concrete in between, red concrete left and above, light blue concrete left and right, and then light grey concrete fill in just up above, smooth stone slabs all the way around the top of the light grey, and what we will have is this. Now, I did say that I was going to go through the entire thing with you, but after seeing how painful that was, quite honestly, remember that I've done this before, <laughs> all you have to do is replicate what we have here, just up above several times. I am sure that you guys will manage it. Once you have managed to add all of your cans in, all you will have to do, of course, is simply fill the entire front of your vending machine in. Oh, my bad. Uh, the entire front of your vending machine in using glass pane. So that should hopefully be rather straightforward. But we have but one more task left to do. Now that we have pretty much laid in the foundation for all of those cans, we know how to do that. That's easy. We have to come to just to the right, really. This is, this is where this journey starts. And I have to just slightly adjust my plans that I have made here. Okay. On the right side of the build... We have ourselves, this is the area where we where we would grab the Pepsi can, right? We take the grey concrete area and we want to basically remain level with this grey concrete area. We have this selected, we have this highlighted. We keep it level, we grab our blue concrete and we move around to the right of the build. So maintaining the same uh, block that we were just using our grey concrete. So this grey concrete here, we want to move around to the right. And on the side of the build here, we want to place ourselves a row of six blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the same position the grey is on on the front. We then want to continue going right by two using white concrete. One, two. And then we want to go down one. We then want to go right by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We then have to go up, right, up, right, up, right, up, right. We then want to go up by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We then want to go left, up left up left up left up so that just wants to be even and level with the bottom just in case you're not sure we then want to go left by 13 again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we then want to go down left down left down left down left we then want to go down by 13 oh building down so cool one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we then want to go right down right down right perfect what we will have is a big giant circle but not just any circle the circle we need we want to then once we have made our circle from all the way to the pretty much where we just left off actually so where the like white concrete is is going down where it then goes right which is here so like long row of white it starts going right well we want to extend this block further to the right by three one two three we then want to go up and then right by two one two we then want to place an upright white diagonal and then right by two one two we then want to keep placing white concretes diagonally going all the way up to the top so um we could actually like go like right and up but i, I find diagonals a little bit easier to work with sometimes just to make sure um, just to make sure <laughs> that really bothered me just to make sure that um we're getting the right shape so just like this um once we hit this area diagonally i want you to just go up and kind of like just join it connect it together right of this so like here i want you to place a white concrete 
and I want you to extend the white concrete down one and then I want you to place a bottom left diagonal down one bottom left diagonal down one bottom left diagonal down one bottom left diagonal left one bottom left diagonal left one bottom left diagonal left two and then we would do another bottom left diagonal which would be here and we go left by two so that gives us a very particular shape this shape we want to fill the middle of this in using white concrete you may even recognize this shape i sort of hope you do so we fill the entire shape in here the middle part using our white concrete just like this that is not looking too bad we might even take this block here and just kind of like fill that in just a little bit more and that will give us this which is the outline of the pepsi logo at least a giant one it might be a little bit sloppy but you know it's kind of hot to anyway we're going to fill the top of this in using red concrete and we're going to fill the bottom of it in you guessed it like blue concrete we're not going to do that right now though ladies and gentlemen in doing that you have actually made all of the hard parts of the build you've made them all you can actually see it pretty much all together we have some tasks now. Tasks that I'm not going to do on recording because it would make this video literally two hours long. Uh, maybe not two hours long. A long time though. And what were we going to do? We have to fill the vending machine and you don't actually have to fill in all of these spots. It'd actually be a tad more realistic if some of these cans were missing. We have to fill the entire vending machine in with cans until you see fit. Once filled in with cans, we have to fill the outside of the sin using glass paint. We have to fill this area in here using blue concrete. We have to fill the right side area in using light grey concrete. We have to fill in the right side of the build using blue concrete. The back side of the build using blue concrete. The left side of the build in using blue concrete. The bottom of the build we have to fill in using blue concrete and finally this will take a while to get to the travel time up the elevator is very very slow and ding we hit the floor we have to fill the top of this in using blue concrete hopefully you guys have got that we also have to fill in the logo i think that goes without saying but all the sides of the vending machine filled in with blue concrete the logo filled in we have to add the cans we then have to add the glass we then have to fill that in with light gray concrete and then we're done Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go away, I'm going to do all of those things, and then I'm going to show you what a lovely looking vending machine will look like once it has been done. I'm very sorry that I'm not going to be adding all of the cans and filling the vending machine with you, but as I said, oh, we'd run out of things to talk about. It would, it would get very boring if you listened to me talk about nothing for two hours whilst I fill this in. So, I'll be back in just a moment once that has been done. So, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what your Pepsi vending machine will look like once it has been 100% fully completed as you can see the entire front has been filled in we have filled in the left this takes a long time to turn it's like the titanic the back what moment <laughs> still rotating the right side has been filled in which is a little bit more interesting because we have the pepsi logo which you could absolutely transfer onto the opposite side as well and we have also filled in the top as you can see that is just plain blue and not that well i guess we will be able to see it but we have also filled in the bottom as well just with blue but you could probably fill that in with anything if you really wanted to and of course the main event the entire front so all of this was pretty much done uh before we actually went away and filled it in but as you can see we have a now fully stocked vending machine and that's it i do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please do remember to hit that like button i'd really appreciate that helps me the channel out very much if you're new around here please subscribe click that little bell next to the subscription button that'll ensure that you all my videos sent directly to your sub box and if you do want to make anything else by me check out the card system description below in the top of the comment section for more thank you so much for watching everybody i love you all very much and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye